Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hope you guys are having another awesome day. Next to me sits the Ledger Nano S Crypto Hard Wallet. And in today's society, especially with what's going on, on the crypto exchanges that's never been more important to have one of these so this is my first unboxing of a hard wallet and i want to talk about why it's important and of course how to protect your assets down the road because as technology advances you want to make sure you don't keep yourself vulnerable and in a position where you could lose all of your crypto assets but before we get into today's video if you are interested in money news joining a community of people that ultimately work together to create wealth for themselves this is the channel for you so make sure that you smash that subscribe button turn on the bell notification other than that let's talk about why this thing is so important so we've been getting a lot of crypto news this year. A lot of investors have been using it as a hedge against inflation and also against losses that we're seeing in the U.S. economy, not only from the stocks and bond market, but also real estate is starting to take a dip as well. So a lot of investors used to use crypto as a shelter to protect that wealth. Unfortunately, what we're seeing right now is a changing of the guard, if you will, and crypto is also going down while the rest of these markets are as well. On top of that, we've now had two major crypto exchanges that have halted their withdrawals altogether. One of those being Celsius and another one recently was Voyager. Now, essentially what this means is that anybody that has had their crypto and held their crypto on these exchanges essentially is subjecting themselves to potential loss of these assets if the exchanges end up going liquid and they can't pay out their investors or the people keeping their money on the exchanges. So now is more important than ever for you to have an avenue for you to be able to store your crypto in a safe place where if these companies do go under, you're not at risk of losing your crypto. But also if a major hack happens, like of course crypto is subject to, you have it stored on an external wallet in something where you're not subject to your crypto assets being stolen as well. So why is it important to have one of these? Let's think about this in terms of the banking world. When you deposit money into a bank, essentially what's going on is it goes into a pool of money that that financial institution then uses to lend out to other people in the forms of either withdrawals or loans or whatever they choose to lend out the money for. Now, what they're doing is basically using your money as well as other people's money in order to help the other consumers gain access to the funds that they need. So this liquidity is very important in order to be able to lend out to other people while also keeping that financial institution stable. So in the crypto world, essentially, these exchanges work very similar to that of a bank. They have extra liquidity on hand to keep that exchange afloat, but also they're lending out money to consumers as well in the form of loans or withdrawals. If there's not enough money, in that pool of money on that exchange, that company then goes liquid and they run the risk of going bankrupt. So essentially what that means is if that company goes bankrupt, they can no longer give money out to the consumer. in the form of those withdrawals and those loans as well. So even though it is technically your money, yes, that institution no longer has the ability because they don't have the liquidity to give you your money back out. That's why we're seeing the pause in exchanges like Voyager and in exchanges like Celsius because they don't have the liquidity to be able to give back to the consumer. They've stretched themselves too thin. So this solves that problem. You now take custody of that crypto and it's no longer on an exchange. It's held right here. So that means that if at any point in time you need to go liquid and withdraw your crypto, you now have the access to and you're not relying on a third party to take that money out of that financial institution. Now on top of that, let's talk about hacks. Being that crypto is digital, it is subject to a lot of potential hacks 
And we've seen it multiple times, not only through Coinbase, but other exchanges as well, where hackers have gotten onto the exchange. And if there is money in the exchange or on this public platform that the company's essentially using to liquidate, again, withdrawals or loans, those hackers now have access to that big pool of money and they're able to take as they would like. So by having a hard wallet, essentially what you're doing is again, taking that money off of the exchanges. Therefore, the hackers don't have access to your money and your accounts cannot be hacked. So what happens if somebody were to get their hands on your Ledger Nano S, would they be able to get your assets off of it? And the short answer is yes. However, the Ledger does have a two-stage verification as well as security measure, if you will. The first one is a personal phrase or a private key, if you will. This is something known only to yourself. So if you're not giving this private key out to anybody, you should be okay. In fact, a lot of people have actually forgotten what their private key is, and now they have their assets locked up on something like this, where unfortunately, if unless they can remember what that private key is, they won't be able to access those assets. On top of that as well, they do use a security phrase and each security phrase is unique to its own individual ledger. So what this security phrase essentially is, is it's a combination of words in sequence, usually about 12 to 16 words in sequence, that not only do you have to know the word, but you have to know the order in which the words show up. If you know both of those things, the private key and the recovery phrases in sequence, that will help you unlock those assets that are stored on the ledger itself. So again, just another security feature to help keep your assets safe. And let's take a look at what's actually in this box. What's in the box? So that you can get familiar with it because this is something that as we start to see more of these crypto exchanges get hacked or go insolvent, it's gonna be more important than ever before to be able to store it somewhere where you don't run the risk of losing those assets. So if we take a look, looks like your basic iPod type setup, just a simple USB. And there's a bunch of different colors that you can choose from. As you can see, I chose mint. Nice. So this is gonna be something really simple where if we take a look, it has a USB-C, I believe it's called, that you plug directly in to your laptop and connect it to an exchange to be able to pull off those crypto assets and store them securely on your ledger. It's pretty cool. It's got its own little engraving there as well, if you can see that. And then of course, you can store it on your key ring if you'd like. Most important thing, of course, is going to be this guy here to be able to transfer that crypto from the exchange onto this. So pretty simple type setup. I think about this as if I would think about putting music onto a USB or just basically pulling it from your crypto exchange and putting it onto this guy itself and using those private keys as well as those recovery phrases to lock that crypto up in a cold storage format. And if we look, we also have one of these guys, looks exactly like something you would get in an iPhone when you open up an iPhone box. And I'm not much of a tech person, so the instructions actually come pretty simple overall. So you'll see it on here. Basically, you're just gonna plug in your USB to your laptop and go to ledger.com slash start and it will configure everything that you need to do. Now, the most important part is we talked about that recovery phrase. In this case, it is 24 words for the recovery phrase. You can see this is blank right here. Now, the reason why they give you a sheet like this and the common mistake that a lot of people make is when they get their recovery phrase, they'll store it electronically on their laptop or they'll store it in the notes of their iPhone. Not really the best place to store it because again, if your computer's hacked, now the hackers have access to your recovery phrases as well. So it's one less layer of security that they have to get through in order to get to your assets. So what you really wanna do is once you get your 24 word recovery phrase, and again, they're all in order here, you write those down and you keep them somewhere in like a safe, for instance, where 
If you do forget it, no big deal. You have it written down somewhere. Now you don't have to worry about it being lost on a cell phone somewhere or potentially getting hacked if you are storing it electronically. And so I wanted to show that to you guys because I get a lot of questions about, well, what's the safest way for me to store my crypto? And I used to store mine on exchanges. Unfortunately, I was one of the ones that got subject to the liquidity and insolvency of Celsius. So that was a pretty big loss for me crypto asset wise. So it's important to understand that Yes, you can use crypto exchanges, and if you're willing to lose your assets, okay, keep them on there. But if you're not willing to lose assets, which I don't know how many people are willing to do that, you might want to have a backup plan, and that's where the Ledger Nano S comes into play is you now have the ability to cold store your crypto and now you're not at risk of losing it. So I hope that this video was educational for you again. This is something that I'm relatively new to crypto. I've been in crypto for about two or three years or so, but I'm always constantly learning and part of learning is losing. So obviously I wanna protect myself against loss and if I could teach you guys how to protect yourself against loss as well, why not do it as a community? So I hope that you did get value out of this video. Of course, if you did give it a big thumbs up, other than that, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we are building a community of people that are understanding the money game more and more every single day, but also working to have our dollars stretch further for us. So if that's something that interests you and you wanna be part of the community, make sure that you smash that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification. Other than that, have a great rest of your day.